These are our maximum security cells. As you probably know, this is where we keep our most in college prisoners. <laughs> That's the greatest thing I've ever saw. Y'all are welcome to come back and have your picture taken in one of the cells. I suggest this one. <laughs> Mayberry Man is uh, like a dream come true for Mayberry fans like me. I've been a part of the, the Mayberry world for over 20 years, and, and to, for something like this to come up and to get to be a part of, it is absolutely amazing. He's your daddy? Yes, it is. I think we'll take this one. Did you sign this for us? Sure. Sign it, Rayfield and Jenny. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, this says Roger. Rayfield. Oh, Jenny. Enjoy. Howdy. Whenever I see one of these babies out front, it reminds me of the time that I tried my hand at real estate. You know, it's not as easy as it looks, and hiring the wrong agent can really cost you. That's why I go with the fine folks at Values Driven Realty, Central Indiana's finest. At Values Driven Realty, they follow the golden rule. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, make sure you give the folks at Values Driven Realty a call or look them up online. And make sure you tell them the old Mayberry deputy sent you. It's such a great, feel-good family movie. Thing that we need right now in America, really. And it's so cool to be able to keep the memory of Mayberry alive. We grew up watching that show, and this movie really brought it home as to how much it really is about Americana right now. We loved it. And I thought the uh, Mayberry Man was one of the greatest stuff. Uh, Films I've seen in a long time, and I would recommend it to anybody. Oh, that's a nice thing. Oh, oh, hello. People are always wondering where Floyd gets his haircut when he's not in Mayberry. Well, I dropped by Great Cliff, yeah, of Central Indiana in Louisville. Oh, nice. Oh, it's good. Yeah. They have, you know, I've always wanted two chair shots. They've got a bunch of chairs. Oh, it's nice here. Yeah. It's going to be great at Great Cliff. Everybody, I'm looking at you. If you are watching this right now, you need to go see Mayberry, man. I don't care what age you are, what race you are, what your background is, it doesn't matter. You go see Mayberry, man, because it's awesome. Go see the movie. Yeah, you'll see me in it. I'm 25 seconds in it, so I'm just a little extra. <laughs> so I'm happy. Hey, how you doing? This is Floyd Lawson coming to you right here in Mount Airy, North Carolina. I'm at the Loaded Goat. Oh, it's a nice place. Not only that, there was a movie oh, film here, Mayberry Man. Yeah, you can come and just like they did on the Mayberry Man movie and eat at the Loaded Goat and have a nice dynamite burger or one of their other burgers. Voted one of the best hamburger places in all of North Carolina right here in Mount Airy. Oh, and when you drop by, be sure and tell them Floyd sent you. <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll, they'll, well, they probably won't do anything. They'll tell them I sent you. <laughs> Step back a little break bit. Break it up now, break it up. You heard the man. Give him some room. Scooch, buddy, scooch. I can't believe it. Well, that's the car from the studio. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this is exciting. If this car is real, oh, Jim will know. It's real. It's real! <laughs> All right, welcome to our first Night Live. Yeah, I'm Court Howell, and this is Stark Howell, director. Howdy, of everyone. 
We are excited to see so many people tuning in for our first live. We appreciate you being here. And uh, this is a new thing we're going to do. Uh, we feel like we've been a little out of touch, and uh, we want to make this a regular thing where we update you weekly with what's going on. And a, a couple of things, uh, just to tease what we're going to be doing tonight. Uh, if you stick around, because we are going to be giving away a $10 gift certificate to Weaver's Department Store, or your uh, favorite place for Mayberry merchandise. Uh, so you got to be on the on the, the stream to collect that. And uh, a little later, we'll be uh, picking a random name and uh, someone will win $10 to, to Weavers. And then uh, we will also have Alan Newsom, Floyd the Barber, joining us. Right on. Alan, baby. You know, he's an old pro when it comes to this uh, live stream stuff. So we figured we'd bring in the ringer uh, and get him in here. And then... Um, Stark, uh, you know, we have been a little out of touch, but uh, we do have a, a big announcement coming, I think. And so I'll just ask you, so what have you been doing lately? Well, I've been sort of off the grid for a while. Uh, I haven't really interacted a whole lot with uh, social media. I've been working on something and, you know, you're just going to have to wait till uh, next week. And I think uh, everyone should be pleased at the direction that we're going. And that's about all I'll say about it. All right. But, I, but I have been busy, for sure. It's a tease. It's a teaser. And uh, next week uh, on our weekly live, we will reveal what we're doing. And uh, so you don't want to miss next week, that's for sure. Uh, and then uh, we'll also be doing some Q&A during this live. So, we'll, you know, we'll be here for a little while, hanging out with you guys. And uh, we'll have a few special guests, not just Alan, but we have a couple other uh, maybe surprise guests that might be joining us. So let's get into some of the news, a little update on what's been going on. Uh, I was kind of excited today. I noticed that we crossed the threshold of 9,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. So I just wanted that's to- That's pretty good. Isn't that, that's pretty impressive, right? I mean, yeah. it wasn't that long ago that I was like reaching out to our fans to say, help us get to 1,000 subscribers. And then it uh, just kind of snowballed. And part of that was there's a few videos on there. If you haven't been on our YouTube channel, some of them are on Facebook as well. But there's a video that where Clint Howard is talking about his memories uh, of the uh, Andy Griffith show being on set and that sort of thing. And it's a familiar, it's a video that a lot of people have seen, but this time Clint is narrating it. And, and that video has kind of gone a little bit viral. Over 300,000 people have, have viewed that video. But then there's one, Stark, that features you. It's, a, it's actually an older video from a couple of years ago where you and Clint visit Myers Lake, 290,000 views. That, yeah, we did that, that. We did that before we started the movie. Um, and uh, I, it kind of goes back to, there's a bunch of people that came out from, uh, I don't know where all, but at different places they come out and they, they go do all things Mayberry, just like uh, uh, Alan says at the end of the movie. And we all had lunch at a restaurant. Uh, Clint was there and I was there and they were there. And we finished our lunch. Clint uh, had to go. And they, I, they said they were going up to Myers Lake. And I have never been to Myers Lake. So I said, hey, can I hop in and go with you? And so I hopped in the, in the van and we went up to Myers Lake and uh, we had a few experts there that could tell me everything about it. So I felt like I got a great tour of Myers. So then when uh, we went to Clint's house, I thought, you know, let's ask him if he's ever been up there. And lo and behold, he'd never been up to Myers Lake. So we just made a little video out of it. It was a little interesting. We got up there and they were shooting, uh, what turned out to be season seven of American Horror Story, and they had built all these cabins around the lake. So we actually, our view of the walk was obscured, uh, but we made the most of it, and uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was, I remember when we were shooting that, it was kind of this, uh, you know, getting everyone on the same schedule and getting Clint on the same schedule, and we went to all this trouble we were shooting the seats, the setup scene outside his house, we, you know, the Jeep driving away. And then we shoot the, the, the trip to the lake. And then we turn that corner and it's like a construction zone. It was a little, I guess we should have scouted that first, but yeah, well, um, but it, it made it interesting. I think it made it interesting and, and uh, it's a good video. And uh, eventually it kind of went viral. And uh, if you haven't seen it, we uh, you should definitely take a look at it on, on YouTube. Uh, 
you know, our, our, our official trailer for Mayberry Man has over 100,000 views. Um, that's not too shabby. And then one video that I think is really underrated, it's uh, the video of you and Clint sharing childhood memories. And uh, it's a little longer, but uh, it's the movie that you guys did with Ron as a kid. Tell me, that's in there, right? So that's, what was that about so for people who haven't yeah. seen it? Well, Clint, my older brother, who is a 12 months old or 16 months older than me, um, my dad would go over to Clint and Ron's house because he was a writing partner with Rance Howard, Ron's dad. And so they would work in the summertime when we were out of school. They would work eight, eight hours a day, five days a week, and we'd get dragged along. And so we would just hang out and play for eight hours over, you know, so with Clint. And one day Ron come up and came up to us and he wanted to do a Super 8 movie. And my acting ability is really, I should stay behind the camera. It's really bad. But we did do a movie. We shot it you know, an entire day. And I remember Ron buying us lunch. And I, I, what's interesting about that is I was watching a color episode of The Andy Griffith Show right about the same year it was like 1970 69 and i'm looking at opie in that color episode and i have no recollection of him being that young when he shot that video but he was really young but we were 10 so he you know he just seemed older he's four years older than we were uh but yeah pretty amazing that 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 opie at 10 or at 14 could do that kind of video so obviously he has a little bit of talent yeah. So it's a, it's a good little video. And, and uh, if you're on YouTube, there's uh, going to be no, there's show notes and there's links to these videos we're talking about. You should definitely check that out after the live is over. So let's talk about some of the news. There's been a few developments going on behind the scenes. Uh, the main one is, you know, we have a distribution deal. So congratulations, yeah. uh, Stark, yep. on that. Um, we've been doing self-distribution up to this point. We've got it on Amazon. We've got it into certain, you know, a, a fair number of theaters by, you know, indie film standards. But uh, we've kind of done what we can do at this point. And um, so now we've signed on with a distributor, a legit distributor, who will be able to get it out there. And, uh, you know, they've talked about maybe wanting to do another theatrical release where it'll get into more theaters across the country. Um, they'll certainly uh, pitch it to t uh, cable channels and, you know, the streaming networks and all that kind of stuff. And even international, right? That would be pretty cool. See, uh, yeah. see, Chris, I'm, see half I'm half listening to you and half looking at these, uh, at the comments. So okay. that's yeah, why no worries, I, no yeah, but uh, hi to everyone that's, uh, that's coming in. I, I I, I almost want to read those instead of pay attention to what I'm yeah, supposed we'll to be get doing. There. We'll get there. So, and then, um, and part of that is uh, part of the, the deal with having a distributor now is they are going to require us to pull it down from Amazon. So right now you can rent or purchase Mayberry Man on Amazon. And a lot of our backers that supported the project have copies of the film. But if you wanted to uh, get a copy of uh, Mayberry Man on Amazon, just for convenience or whatever else, we've dropped the price uh, from $19.99 down to $14.99 for a limited time. And, uh, you know, you can uh, take a look at that right there. And um, we also dropped the rental price a little bit. Uh, so now's the time to grab it if you were thinking about it, because it's going to go back in the vault, as they say, uh, because that's just part of the requirement with the distributor you know, they'll take probably four or five months to kind of, you know, prepare for the official release in the future. So, so that's what's happening with the distribution deal. And, you know, yeah. and also with that, the, you know, the different platforms are going to, they're going to reach out to every platform. So, you know, our, our goal is to get it on as many platforms as we can. I think uh, our co-star Ashley would, is really dying to see her performance on an airplane. So we're hoping that we can even get it as part of the in-house entertainment on airlines. I mean, it, there's really every platform is up, up for grabs. We'll see how good the distributor is in reaching those. Well, in talking to distributors, you also learn that there's all sorts of uh, channels for distribution that you may not have thought of. Uh, Mayberry Man is a good uh, candidate for prisons. So we may have Mayberry Man in prisons even. So yeah. uh, lots of great opportunities coming down the pike. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to that. But again, 
The uh, downside is we're going to pull it down from Amazon for a while and uh, it goes back in the vault until they're ready to release it. Um, so we have some shows coming up, though. We can still do our theatrical events, which we're doing, and we have a couple planned. Uh, yeah. Next one up, Stark, you want to talk about this a little bit? Yeah, we have uh, the Bama Theater in Tuscaloosa. This is an event that's being put on by Kenneth Junkin. He plays Otis in the movie. And uh, half of the proceeds are going to go to uh, a great a great cause. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to read it because I don't want to mess it up. Uh, but it is on June 25th, 7 p.m. in Tuscaloosa. And let's see. It is called Eagles Wings of Tuscaloosa. They are a nonprofit. Um, let's see what they're. Uh, it's a nonprofit agency that provides day uh, habilitation and residential services for adults with developmental disabilities. And so that's a great cause. Uh, me being the parent of an adult child with autism it speaks to my heart. So uh, we hope that everybody comes out as a thousand seat auditorium and we hope to fill it. Uh, that's one event coming up June 25th. And we'll have a lot of special guests there. I know Alan Newsom and, and Kenneth obviously will be there. And we got some other tribute artists showing up. And maybe some special guests will be coming up as, as well. So um, we expect that to be kind of a spectacle. I mean, Kenneth, is, I talked to Kenneth uh, the other day, and he said he thinks we could sell it out. So that could be an exciting event. So if you're in the area, uh, definitely join us. Um, and then we have another one scheduled in July, at the end of July. And this one is a pan cinema in Indianapolis, Indiana. And yeah, I, uh, it, it has a restaurant next to it or an eating facility. Right. Yeah. Cool. It's, it, it just opened last, I think about a, uh, last year sometime. And it's got this, it's attached to a restaurant. That's a really cool uh, restaurant. And uh, it's got three, three theaters in it. One's, the, we're in the large one, seats about 145. So those tickets will go fast. They're going to be on sale, I think, June 1st. Um, and, uh, you know, they have some smaller screening rooms there, but it's just a cool venue. And we'll have tribute artists. Uh, Terry Varvel is going to bring out the squad car. And I'm sure Dixie, the praying dog, will come out and uh, drive her Jeep around and, and all that good stuff that we haven't been able to do for a while because of the winter. And, um, so that'll be an exciting event in Indianapolis for a lot of our locals. Yep. And uh, just to answer one question, BMG is our distributor, right, Court? Yes. Bridgestone Multimedia Group, I think, is, or multi, uh, something like and that. And I think they, they do a lot in the faith and family area, right? Yeah. And, they do a lot of faith and family uh, titles. And um, yeah, they've been around for a long time, good reputation. So um, they really wanted Mayberry Man. That, that's they were persistent uh, and uh, been talking to them for a long time and uh, good, good people. So we're excited about that. Um, then uh, we're working on a, you know, some other events, uh, hopefully in the month of July and um, maybe even try to do something at the Mayberry meetup in Mount Airy, which is mid July. And since I'm mentioning the meetup, let's bring in the ringleader of the Mayberry meetup, uh, Floyd, the barber, Alan Newsome. Alan, hey, welcome hey. There we go. Our show just hit the big time. <laughs> yeah, the Mayberry Meetup. This will be our 10th year of doing the Mayberry Meetup. And uh, it's coming up uh, July the uh, 15th and 16th that weekend. And uh, if you haven't ever been, you know, Mayberry Days, it's in Mount Airy, North Carolina. And Mayberry Days is in September. But the Meetup it was really started because I went there because of my two chairs, no waiting podcast to interview Thelma Lou, Betty Lynn lived in Mount Airy. And I went there and I thought, well, you know, if I'm there, I'll meet up with some people and go out and eat. And like 20 people showed up. So I was like, Oh my gosh, I got, I got to come up with something for them to do. And uh, that was 10 years ago. And basically what we ended up doing is on, on the evenings at night, when it gets dark, like an old drive-in movie, we, we show Andy Griffith show episodes at the gazebo at the Mayberry Motor Inn and uh, just visit with one another. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Well, we would love to try to do a little screening there if possible, but, uh, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'd love to do that. That'd be a lot of fun because uh, a lot of the folks that attend uh, were actually in the movie and uh, the tribute artists are usually there. 
And I, I think it would go over really well at the meetup. Uh, folks would really enjoy that. Alan, I'm just curious. Do you have you ever been like recognized on the street? I, uh, a matter of fact, I just did an event this past uh, weekend over in Valley Head, Alabama, and I had about five people come up and say, well, "You were in the movie, weren't you?" And I was like, "Yeah, that was me." Yes. So uh, that's the that's the first time that's happened uh, since you know it just came out last last fall. So yeah. But that's the first time that that has happened. But it, I was obviously dressed as Floyd during that event. So, you know, it kind of did, <laughs> did narrow it down that it could have been me. Uh, yeah. But uh, th that was the first time somebody's actually come up and mentioned that they had seen it. Uh, well, you did such a great job in the movie. I, I know that the, you know, the original story was started with you when I asked you because I needed that, I needed that glue that the story revolved around and, you know, it was, who knows if you would have been able to pull it off, but you sure did. I mean, everybody, I get out so many comments. I love that Floyd guy. He's just so <laughs> like, so. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Especially uh, if, if folks that are listening or watching, haven't heard this before. Uh, Stark actually has in writing where I had mentioned to him, I, I didn't really think you'd actually make the movie. <laughs> yeah. so I'm always like, I, I should have never told him that it was, and it was, uh, you know, the thing was, uh, we've had other people come to us with, I don't know, uh, Mayberry cruises or different events and things like that. And and I don't want to get excited about those events until they actually happen. So when uh, you came uh, discussing the movie, I was I, I was interested for certain. And then you sent the script. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. Like, you know, he's probably not going to make it. Yeah, you know, I just kept my uh, expectations low. And so I, I'm... Uh, I'm honored that you uh, allowed me, took a chance on me being in this movie and having such a large role, considering I've never done anything like that before. <laughs> well, we definitely beat the odds in the fact that we made it, but really that's a tribute to the fan, the fan base, because really they made it. Um, we didn't take any Hollywood money or we didn't have any money. So, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't just me. It was everybody. What was your, I mean, looking back, uh, it's been a while, I mean, over a year since we shot it, you know, it's been a half a year since we released it, right? Um, like, you have any big takeaways now that uh, some time has passed? You mean like from actually making the Like movie? the whole experience of acting in a movie and, and the whole the whole thing. It, it, it was sort of surreal for you as you went through it. I'm just wondering if there's a different perspective at this point. I, I don't know. I, I think I didn't, uh, I didn't really even understand going into the movie, the role I had in the movie, even though I had read the script and I realized I was in a lot of the movie. I didn't really realize, I didn't realize how much of the movie I was actually a part of until, you know, I think we were probably in the third week of filming and Stark actually took me to the side one day saying, you really didn't, uh, you really talk up a movie a lot. And I said, well, I, it was on my podcast. And I, I talked about it and everything. He said, yeah, but you didn't talk about you. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, uh, well, you're, there's like the leading, there's a lead actor and then you're the supporting actor. You're the, you're the next person. And I said, I didn't, I didn't know that. I don't know anything <laughs> about this. I'm not an actor. <laughs> so so uh, I didn't know what the number two on the call sheet meant. I didn't know what that meant. Uh, I just thought that was, this, hey, he's the second guy in line or something that day. So you're know. not going to be like super nervous if we did something else, right? All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, now I'll be like, do you know what it is? <laughs> no, did I get the best of, did I get the best of uh, Alan Newsom? <laughs> Maybe so. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't think so. It hasn't. Um, I don't feel like you'd have to ask my wife really, but I don't think I've changed in any way or uh, other than I really do appreciate it. And the, the, I mean, really after you've made the Mayberry man movie, or you've been in the Mayberry man movie, which are so many of the fans were able to be in. Mm -hmm. We're all part of the actual Mayberry story now. I mean, we're, we grew up, we watched the Andy Griffith show and you know you love it you love those characters and then now you know we're we're kind of connected in that re regard mm -hmm. and that's just that's kind of hit me over the last year it's like wow you know i'm kind of connected somehow now to the to the andy griffith show well, uh, and that was our, before 
And that was our goal, right? It was to capture the Mayberry spirit in a way that we could pass it on to the next generation. And speaking of the next generation and Mayberry, I have someone I want to add who uh, dialed in and we can add to the, to the uh, conversation. Uh, go, Greg, I'm coming to you. So uh, pull your pants up and uh, put the shirt on. Greg. Hello there. There he Greg is. Greg, <laughs> How are How's you? It going? <laughs> Good. He's rocking the, the West Coast tan. and uh, Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Do you need a Sharpie off. or anything, Greg? I've, I've got an extra Sharpie if you need one. Uh, hold, hold on. Let me just tell the, the grieving fans. Uh, I, listen, give me 15 more minutes. I'll sign all your autographs in a second. <laughs> <laughs> It's so, uh, uh, it's great to see everybody, and uh, gosh, I'm excited to uh, you know um, there's there's exciting things down the road, <laughs> and I'm very and I'm very happy about that. Well, we're we're just uh, a week away from announcing what might be uh, down the pike. Um, been working on things behind the scenes, and I know you and Stark have been talking a lot as well, and um, we're excited. We just can't tell anybody anything yet, you know. That's right. Mom's the word Next for week. now. Next week, we'll next let you week. all know. You got to be here next week. Yeah, next week. Um, what, uh, what's been going on in the life of Greg's show? Just uh, update us real quick. Uh, gosh, let's see. <laughs> well, um, since Mayberry Man, I ran my first marathon. That was pretty cool. That was a very tough kind of, you know, milestone thing that I wanted to do. 26.2 miles. I trained for it for about four months and I was able to complete that. So that was kind of a bucket list check. Um, I've been just trying to stay healthy, trying to uh, work on different photo assignments here and there. Nothing quite as exciting as making a movie like Mayberry Man, but, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing well, you know, uh, like you said, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time out by the pool, you know, working on the uh, spring tan and uh, you're so Hollywood. <laughs> yes. Oh, and my father, I'll, I'll update all the fans on my yeah, dad. Uh, my dad just booked a couple of uh, one man shows in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we will be in Ohio next month. Uh, you know, later on, I can tell people when the dates are. Uh, it's like late June and well, uh, I'm going to I'll be there as well. Driving distance from where I am and a lot of the people in Indianapolis are. So, yeah, that's right. Uh, keep us updated and we should uh, post to our followers. Uh, where he's going to be and when. Yeah, we'll be in the Cincinnati area, Lebanon. And I think we even had a screening there once of Mayberry Man. So a lot of people know Lebanon, kind of a suburb city, I guess, of, of near Cincinnati. Okay. And uh, and uh, some of the Mayberry folk are actually already coming. So, oh, cool. you know, the more the merrier. If you're anywhere near the Ohio territory, come on over and uh, at least come and say hi. And, you know, I heard they have great ice cream. The, in, in Ohio. This is something I've been doing research on. So I got to go to this great ice cream parlor when I'm there. So that's on my bucket list too. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we have any questions from anybody in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, who's following and watching. And uh, we've got a lot of comments coming in and. Uh, well, somebody asked where Ashley was. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. I'm asking where Ashley is. She's <laughs> supposed to join us. That, <laughs> we're all asking where Ashley is. Yes. Does that give you an idea who the next guest might be? Hair and makeup? <laughs> oh, the, let's let's bring her in. I'm a, I think I have wow. to uh, what is the part with, uh, Greg. I have to drop you so I can add her. Understood. Thank you for joining us. Drop me Greg? for a prettier face. I get yeah, it. Yeah, well. <laughs> All right, thank All right guys. Us, thank Greg. you. Great to see everybody and uh, looking forward to next week. See you, Greg. All right. Let's uh, see what uh, if we can get yeah, Ashley in here. here. There she is. Hey. There Hi, everyone. Hey. Ashley Elaine, also known as Kate from the Mayberry Man movie. So nice to be here and see everyone. I miss everyone so much. Well, we're glad to have you. And uh, thank you for being part of our, our premiere live show, uh, which we hope to do on a regular basis. And uh, tell us what you've been doing, because you've, uh, you've been doing a little more acting lately. What, what you've been up to? A little more acting. I just got uh, cast in a modern Western film that will film next week. So that's exciting. And um, been talking to 
to other directors for a possible series. So that's exciting as well. Um, but I'm most excited to hear the announcement that's happening next week. We, yeah, we, we'll let you know next week what it is. <laughs> Make sure you tune in. <laughs> Um, so I've been wanting to ask you, you know, I kind of asked this question of, of Alan, you know, now that we've had some time pass, you know, just reflections on your whole experience because Mayberry Man was your first feature film and yes. you're a pretty significant role looking back on it. Uh, you know, how did you, how did you even prepare for that? You know? Oh gosh. Well, I've been in the entertainment industry for almost 20 years, mainly modeling. And I've done some live television, but first feature film. Um, I did do a bit of theater when I was a kid in school. Um, but so did Alan, actually. Oh yeah. That, that was his experience was a high school play. Yeah. I had, I had one line. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember it though. All these years, you know, so. There are no small parts, Alan. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> but preparing for this, I, you know, I love to perform, but it is it is a bit different when, for example, the walk and talk scene with Chris Stone or Brett Varvel, um, you know, and we're supposed to be on kind of our first kind of date, I guess. And then we have 50 people watching, you know, behind the scenes, this moment between that's supposed to be sweet and private. So it's just it's an interesting take on you know, performing, but also keeping it very intimate between the characters. And yeah, but I really enjoyed it. It, it was a blast. See, I look at that scene and I, you know, I know it's you know, hard for the actors uh, to concentrate and do what they do. But then I always think of the cameraman walking backwards with all that gear. <laughs> and uh, it's got to be challenging for that guy too, right? Yes. You're probably looking at him thinking he's about to kill himself, you know, as we're trying to deliver our lines. That and I'm I'm looking at Chris Stone or you know Brett and we had to step up onto the the curb at one point and I can't look down because we're we we have eye contact in that scene mm -hmm. and so I was like well I'm gonna eat it here I'm just gonna flat out just fall on my face and this is this is my debut but it, it turned out okay yeah it's a little nerve wracking. The director had to walk backwards too. Yeah. Don't forget him. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget the director. That's true. Um, so uh, we have a question here. Uh, Greg Barnett asked, um, "Can fans still get a Mayberry Man showing at a, at a local theater?" And and the answer is yes. We can still do that. The theater uh, theater bookings can be a little time consuming, just the back and forth and the coordination and all that. But absolutely, if there's a local point person who wants to like work with the theater to, to bring it there, we will absolutely do that with you guys. Um, it's just difficult for us. And that was one of the, the lessons of self-distribution was, you know, it, there's a reason there's distribution companies because it, uh, it there's a, thousands of theaters. <laughs> and so it's really tough for just Stark and I to, to do that and pull that off. So, um, but Thanks, yeah. I feel like I've missed, missed the party because I'm way out here on the West Coast and you guys have so many showings and everybody's having a great time. And and I'm just all sad out here on the West Coast. <laughs> and I, I can't make all those. I would if I could, but I just well, can't. we got to get out of Indiana once in a while, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know uh, you, you and Ashley, or you guys, uh, Ashley didn't get to come to very many of the ones I was able to go to anyway. And so I know you, you would have really enjoyed getting to watch the reaction of the people watching the movie because they laughed at the right times. They, they, yeah. you know, they, it was, it was a lot, it was very enjoyable to be able to yeah. see the crowds react. And I hate that you guys didn't get to do that as often as maybe some of us were able to. Yeah. That's okay. And, uh, we do with you, Alan. <laughs> And uh, I just want, while I'm thinking about it, uh, there was one other event we didn't really work into the to the rundown, and that is uh, in August we're going to be in Troy, Ohio. And that's a that's an, a, an event where um, uh, Kathy Baker and Baraka Valley, the band, the bluegrass band from the movie, they've uh, coordinated that event, and they're bringing the tribute artists in, right, Alan? Yeah, yeah, are... yeah we're going to be there. We're going to be doing a show that day. Uh, and, uh, so it'll be, uh, it's like a street festival or a city festival that they have there. So they'll have things going on in the, uh, 
uh, throughout the day and they're going to have a stage set up and we're going to do a show. May, we have Mayberry show and Baraka Valley will be there as well playing. So we're going to work together to have kind of a joint show. And then that evening they're going to show Mayberry man once it gets dark and uh, right. that should be a, it should just be a fun day all yeah, around. It's, just, it's a free screening for the, for the town. And I'm going to miss another one. Yeah, that's the, I think it's the weekend of the 13th of uh, August. Is I think it's August 12th. Yeah, August 12th. Yeah, that weekend. It's a, a memorable, mm -hmm. memorable date for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, if we have questions from, from uh, the group, uh, you know, hit us up. Um, I have a question for Ashley. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, oh, we got well, a question for Fanny. Screen, let's, let's take care of this one. What is it? What is this question? Well, someone wants, you know, to work, talk to our accountant, I guess. Uh, they need all the oh. numbers. <laughs> yeah. so is that we, my uh, you must so have a we, piece of the movie. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, points. Uh, we actually did really well, uh, I think, by indie film standards on, on Amazon for four months. And then it kind of disappeared off the radar. And I have a feeling that was because uh, it was being prompt, you know, people were being prompted as a new title or something like that. And, and we do some advertising and promote it on Facebook and we're doing some YouTube ads and, and that sort of thing. But um, it just kind of dropped off after about four months. But, um, you know, it did OK on Amazon, but really no significant marketing budget. So there's just so much there's only so much we can do. Um, but it do substantially better than most independent films. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it really did impress a lot of people that have tried to do this thing before. Uh, and just the numbers that we got were so much better than what Corp's making it sound like. <laughs> well, I, I, it'll be interesting to see what the distributors can do. But they saw our numbers and liked the prospects for, you know, what that meant for the future. So uh, we're excited. I mean, we think we this would be great to put on me TV or, a, you know, on a, on a streaming, you know, exclusive streaming channel, something like that. I think it has a long life. I think it's evergreen, much like the Andy Griffith show. So um, it'll be around for a long time and a lot of people are going to see it. So I think it will. Yeah. And then, so getting back to Ashley, I, I, I know the answers, but uh, have you been recognized? That's yes. my question to you. And you have a couple of cool stories, I think. Well, I don't know if it's, I mean, it's cool, but I wasn't prepared for it. I was on an early, early flight out of LAX, which is the Los Angeles airport, which is very, it's a huge airport. And I went into the Delta club for a little bit to eat breakfast and I had no makeup on. I had a ball cap on, like just, just waking up, having my coffee. And I had this couple sitting across from me and they kept like staring at me and whispering and I'm like, is there someone, is there someone behind me? <laughs> you know? And then, um, and then they finally asked me if I was a part of Mayberry man. So I thought that was pretty neat, but I was totally caught off guard. I was not ready for that at all. In an LA second, airport, no less. Yeah. Yeah. And really early in the morning. Um, the second one was yeah, at, <laughs> it was, <laughs> At a, uh, at a at a retail store and the sales girl was helping me. And then all of a sudden she put the connection together and she's like, Mayberry man. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wow. Yeah. And this is just last week. So wow. still, people are still watching it, which is wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's something we discovered. I mean, Alan probably as much as anyone, because he interacts with the Mayberry fans and real Mayberry fans. And, and, you come across people that have never heard of it all the time, don't you, Alan? Yeah, it's it's still kind of amazing to me because uh, there's so many people are still discovering this and reaching out to me and say, hey, I didn't know about this movie. And I'm just like, wow, what have we got to do to get this information to you? Uh, so, yeah, it's been... Yeah, it's, it's, the studio, too. They spend millions and millions of dollars on it, and we don't have millions and millions of dollars. So I know, it's, it's just amazing. And, and the fact that uh, Ashley was noticed uh, to me i guess la is not an area i would have necessarily thought would be a hotbed of people necessarily watching the maybe i was not that's, ready <laughs> that's really good to hear though i i like that's great you know so yeah, yeah. fun well and unless i uh, see if we have any other questions in here we can answer we have to do a uh, 
we have to do our drawing for our, uh, our uh, uh, gift certificate to Weaver's Department Store. You, you know a little something about Weaver's Department Store, right, Alan? Tell us, tell us what I Weaver's do. Department Store is all about. Because you, <laughs> you get the question, is that a real thing? Right? Shameless plug. Uh, all, all the time. We, uh, yeah, because Weaver's Department Store is obviously the store on the Andy Griffith Show. And we'll always say you can drop by Weaver's and pick it up. And people don't really realize it's a real website store. It's an online store, weaversdepartmentstore.com, that my wife runs. She's the boss. You know, I just I just do whatever she tells me. <laughs> so one of the questions is, where can we get the DVD? You can get it at Weaver's Department Store. That's Weaver's right. Store. <laughs> there you go. Drop by yeah. over there. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm you can even you. get them signed by Floyd if you want to. Uh, check the box. Yeah, check the box. No extra charge. Uh, we'll sign the uh, DVD for you. All right, I got one, another question, and and uh, you know I'll just put it out to the field. Terry Varvel asks, "Will there be Mayberry Man bobbleheads?" Oh yes, let's do that. <laughs> oh, no. I want one of those. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we just need a volunteer to take on that task and uh terry congratulations terry yeah Let us know how that goes. <laughs> yeah that would all be right fun. so we've got a winner for the ten dollar gift certificate yay and uh the winner will need to contact us uh with their email address full name and well i got the full name uh carolyn rosberry is our winner of the gift certificate and so carolyn Nice. Email me at court at mayberryman.com. That's court at mayberryman.com. That's C O R T uh, at mayberryman.com. And we will get you hooked up just in case we can't find you through whatever platform you're on. Um, and uh, then we'll send you that gift certificate. And you can buy a Mayberry Man deck of cards. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You have, you, have, you have any of those left? There we go, Alan. <laughs> yeah. How's your inventory? Mayberry Man, the company, has no more decks of cards. I think Weavers has them all at the time. <laughs> yeah, here's one of the best, this is one of the best ones right here. Aww. Aww. <laughs> he Thanks, keeps Alan. it right on top. <laughs> this, one, this one's good too. Uh, <laughs> that one's better. <laughs> and so, do you have inventory of the cards still, Alan? We do. We still have them at Weavers. Yeah, awesome. we still have them. Pick up a deck of cards at Weaver's department store. Yeah, they're very good cards, actually. They slide, you know, they uh you can even do magic tricks with them if you're if you know how yeah, to do magic tricks. If you don't, you can't do it. cards for yeah. sure. Right, they're yeah. very good cards. Yeah. Yep. So um I will uh, I think I'll uh, do you guys want to hang around for the wrap up? Sure. Might as well, right? Sure. So uh just some reminders that uh next week uh we've got a big announcement next week on Wednesday Night Live right here. Uh, you're not going to want to miss that. We'll have some special guests. Although, Ashley, sounds like you may not be able to join us because you're going to be on the set of a movie or something. I will be, but I might be able to... I don't know. We'll see if I can log maybe in. From the dressing room. From, from the, the dressing room, maybe. <laughs> from the um, makeup chair. We, uh, we've got... What else? We've got these uh, events coming up. Uh, the Bama Theater uh and alan you're going to be there at the bama theater right i will yeah it's a and as stark said that's a great event it raises money for the uh, eagles wings uh, of tuscaloosa and it is it is really uh i've been so fortunate we've been at the mayberry tribute artists have been involved with that event uh raising money for that uh, organization for many years and it's uh definitely something i'm proud to be associated with and uh, I just heard yesterday that uh, a special guest is planning to, they, they bought their plane ticket and is going to be uh, flying in to join you. Um, so it should be a fun event, you know, a lot, of, a lot going on there. And then uh, at the end of July, we're doing our Indianapolis event. Again, we'll have lots of tribute artists there. And uh, that's at the Can Can Cinema in, in Indianapolis. And so I just like to remind people, you know, subscribe to our email list uh, on our website. Our website is mayberryman.com. So that way you'll be notified of what's going on, but even better subscribe to us on YouTube and click the bell icon. So you get notified when we do these lives, uh, follow us on Facebook. We'll, th these lives will go out to our Facebook page, our Facebook group, which is called Mayberry and beyond. Um, and it goes to our YouTube channel. And then, um, 
yeah, hit like and subscribe on this, this video if you're watching it uh, later after the live broadcast. And then that's about it, guys. Thanks for uh, joining us. And uh, we're Thanks excited for, for next week. Next week's the big announcement. So My light lasted almost enough, but it went out. So. <laughs> and then, and then My lighting is not good anymore, but... All right. Yeah. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll go to the Mayberry Man trailer as our outro. Thanks for joining us. Bye. 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 Hi. Hi. Craig, give me the elevator pitch. Hey, okay. picture this. Chris Stone is a Hollywood movie star. You're Chris Stone. Yes, thank you. I am Chris Stone. Living life in the fast lane. I didn't know it was his daughter. Mr. Stone. But all of that is about to change. All rise. You were observed driving 105 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. I'm sentencing you to Mayberry Fest. Golly! Welcome to Mayberry Fest. Have you ever heard of Mayberry Fest? Dad used to go to it every year. You know what's going to happen to me when I show up there? I'm going to get mobbed. Mr. Chris Stone. <laughs> The son of Walter Stone from season three. <laughs> yeah. How? No. Clay. No. Howdy. Clay? I'm Chris Stone. No, that's not it. <laughs> you two are gonna love it. <laughs> Mr. Stone. Hey. We are glad to have you, Nick. Chris, you're a regular guy. How would you make a move on her? I don't think I would make a move on her. I'd probably just, you know, try and get to know her first. You have really good coffee here. I don't drink coffee. Oh, okay. Why isn't there a Mr. Kate? Why isn't there a Mrs. Stone? I don't care about Mayberry Fest. I certainly don't care about dad or his career. He's your dad, man. No, he was your dad. Who good am I? You don't understand. No, I understand. You're a bigger phony than I thought you were. There comes a time in everyone's life when things get complicated. Mayberry isn't just a place. It's a state of mind. It's in Georgia, it's in Indiana, it's even in California. Hey, Dad, guess where I am? I'm at Mayberry Fest. Shazam!